and this is the seventh video in May, the 13th overall, and this is the finale of this little shakedown cruise where we go from Dover to Ramsgate and then on to the final uh, destination where Serenity gets lifted out ready for lots of work to be done. So here we are, we're going past Deal and if I've pointed the camera in the right direction I should be roughly on the pier. So almost perfect day, look at that. Um, 11 knots of wind, wind almost behind us, 1.9 knots, 2 knots through the water and if you can see that, I don't think you can see that. 5.8 <laughs> I've only just taken the fenders off, it's, we're going to be putting them back on shortly and there's another yacht over there. It's just character on board therefore Oh, I can't see them Just been, just been quizzed <laughs> so it's either my daughter or my sister on board that gives me problems. I haven't had anything at all since I've been around, so that's definitely going on the YouTube channel. <laughs> right, well this is the... Oh, I haven't turned the mic on, yes I have. Right, this is the shortest trip of the whole journey, but nevertheless an important one. We're coming up to or Ramsgate. Which is over there, I think I can capture that. Perfect sailing conditions. It's a shame actually we're not going further. They're absolutely lovely and Dover way back over there. So <laughs> do you want to mention the beginning? <laughs> I think it's perfect. What do you say, dear sister? Um courtesy prevents me from saying what I really think, but it was a little bit rough coming out of Dover Harbour. <laughs> Do, <laughs> we were being slammed from side to side like nobody's business to be fair it is horrible coming out of Dover people know that but um, you can't tell people that before they get on the boat otherwise they wouldn't get on it would they? my daughter would not have survived this would she <laughs> and we've come all the way over on just one head sail so I don't even have to have the sails to, to fuss about with so excellent so here's Serenity in Ramsgate and she's on the naughty step a little bit, I might talk about why, because uh, there's no friends near her. Um, and that's kind of the tidal part. And if I scan round, you can clearly see, I think, the sandbank that's on all of the charts, so you do need to be a little bit careful about this when you're coming in. It's marked on the chart, so it shouldn't be an issue. So this is the famous yellow marker rubbish skips boy which marks the rubbish skips. So here's the inner harbour and there's a lovely sort of frontage with a few sort of artisany type places and then some eateries underneath the arches, very pleasant. So here we go for the final leg and it's fitting, I guess, based on the way it's gone that we have again got no wind. Um, sister enjoyed it so much having a sail that she's decided to come out and have a motor. <laughs> but at least you've got a sail. Um, and it's a little bit clearer, we can see the coast a little bit better. Uh, this is the famous North Fallen somewhere over there. Again the screen is broken so I can't really see so I'll do a little bit of scan and something that you see will be North Fallen. There you go. And loads of boats at anchor. I, he looks laden down actually so I don't know why he's anchoring up. Perhaps just waiting for some sort of clearance. Anyway, onward and upward. Shows how much faith I have in you. <laughs> oh, I missed videoing that. My sister just said she has a lot of faith in me. Is that true, Chris? I've got a lot of faith in you. Got a lot of faith. 
Right, we just moored up in, uh, what's it called, Harty Ferry, in on HF Boy number four, so I think they could come and charge for it, which is absolutely fine. I think it belongs to the pub. Um, quick scan around, I don't know how much you can be able to see. I think that's the pub over there. Ooh, into the sun, it's going to be a lovely sunset. And we have one neighbour. Sorry? I, I nearly, I think I videoed the colony of seals, oh, yeah, that's when we nearly went aground. <laughs> and <laughs> I'm pretty sure that, that sort of mud banky thing over there is the entrance to, oh focus, the, I think that mud banky thing there is the entrance to Faversham Creek, because I can see a boy sitting on the sand. Yeah, that's Faversham Creek over there, and there's a red port marker boy sitting on the mud at the moment. So we're going to go in two hours be before high water, which will be nine o'clock tomorrow, high water at 11. There you have it. Actually, this is the first anchor, first, mo first mooring of the trip. Yeah, everything else has been anchor and yeah. So here we are, the lovely hearty ferry. Uh, with, if I can zoom in, the very characteristic cranes in the medway out there. Simply lovely, and it's such a comfortable mooring as well. It's a delight. First mooring of the whole trip, actually, on the final night. Right, so this is the, um, the final day of the journey. We're moored up in the swale. Um, it's a bit breezier than forecast, um, but it's a fine sunny day to go in to have Serenity taken out of the water. So we're going up the river, and when I say the river, basically, when I say the river, that's that's kind of the river and it's it's just mud at the moment and we're setting off in less than an hour so uh, yeah I feel a little bit squeamy about this but um, I'm sure it will be all right he said convincingly nothing ever goes wrong for me does it well we're sort of bumping our way up because we're not even at boy number two and we've actually got stuck but at least the water's coming up. The guy at the, at the at the boatyard did say, oh, you can bump your way up. So anyway, it's not bad here. Uh, a boat did go up just before us, but I think he had a lifting keel or something. So look, going to get a bit technical here, but the, the depth is 1.2. Uh, we've got a draft of 1.4, so we're not really floating. At all. Right, so while we leave us sort of stuck in the mud, let's just have a look at this creek at low tide. And you will see boys as we go down. And it's not just that it's shallow, it's that the banks are very angled. So you really don't want to ignore these boys because um, the water could be right up to the edges and you could still end up on this sticky stuff. And it's like this all the way down. And here's the sort of final stretch, just coming towards the actual boatyard itself. So um, yeah, again, you can see it's kind of, it's only deep in the middle. Okay, so we were stuck for about half an hour, not the worst thing in the world. I was probably a little bit too close to the Red Boys. So um, let's speed the next bit up and have a look going down um, the creek. Um, it's really quite odd because you kind of know that if you get it wrong, you're going to be stuck one side or the other. This is past Ore Creek here on the right. Um, another boy, very, very careful to um, adhere to the boys and you can understand why. Um, the deal is you kind of stick more or less 
in the channel or in between the boy and the channel and slightly over to the outside of the curve but you can see the difference between the port and the star marker boys um, yeah quite straightforward we did we did actually touch the bottom a couple of times I don't know if you'll sort of notice it past some houses and then this is kind of the final stretch um, I thought there was a straight bit, but it's sort of it's curvy all the way, really, isn't it? And here we go, and quite a narrow bit. Oh, there's a, there's somebody sculling actually. That's the last thing you want, isn't it? Somebody in a rowing boat just before you actually get to the thing. But he was good. He kind of got out of the way, and then into the very narrow gap, and there between the two barges, and there we go. Oh, they said they'd spin around. So here we go, end of the journey. <laughs> they did want me to dock this way round, but I dock the other way round better, so... And I dropped a bit off the backstay in the water, so that's lost. Can't believe I did that. Well, of course I can believe I did it. Good to see just how disgustingly filthy the bottom is. You can see the recently cleaned bit of um, keel. Yeah. Do you know what? I'm surprised she was moving through the water at all. That is disgustingly dirty. Even the dog thinks so. He's never seen anything so disgusting in his life. off the boat. We'll have a quick look around, but this is um, Iron Wharf Boat Shard. <laughs> Get it right. Iron Wharf Boat Shed. Um, more or less at the end of Fallisham Creek, as you'd have seen, because uh, luckily I've just had a look and the footage did come out. Um, I'll speed it up, though, of coming round. <laughs> Actually, the footage came out it looks really wide, but it's not. It's very narrow. That's my excuse for sticking to it. So let's have a quick look at where we are and where we're going to be for the next several months whilst Serenity has quite a bit of work done to her and I'll, I'll ponder about that later and give you an update later. So there is a tree. I haven't got the windshield on so I'm covering the wind thing with my fingers. I hope this works. A tree and we have got a lovely spot up on the heart in this boatyard. Lovely Contessa 26 next to me. Um, it's a nice place, I like it already actually. Lots of work going on, lots of very nice boats, lots of old boats, lots of old Thames barges and things. Big construction next door, I think they're probably going to build a boat in it and what's the betting that they finish building an entire boat before I've even got half my fibreglassing done. So, um, lovely place. Well, there we go. That's the end of that little phase. Um, that was great fun. I'm obviously sad to have taken her out of the water, but I'm really looking forward to getting on to the next stage, which is to actually do a few modifications, a few changes, get a really ship shape and seaworthy. And um, I shall see you next time. <laughs>